Hi everyone. Thank you for finding this video. My name is Tammy from Tammy Hands Ministries and um, I get a lot of word and visions from God and uh, he gave me another really great one. <laughs> if you watch my videos you'll probably notice that I say every video is a great one but it is. Anytime that we can hear from God it is amazing and I cherish um, all of his word and I cherish all of the visions that he gives me. And I, I just want to pray to Holy Spirit right now. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will put the words in my mouth and, um, you know, help me to properly portray God's word to the viewers. The way that God gave them to me and the visions that he has given me, help me to uh, properly display or, you know, explain those visions so that others can have that vision straight from God. And I, and I ask that you will open the eyes and the ears, the minds and the hearts of the viewers, that they will receive God's word today in Jesus' mighty, precious, holy name. Um, so um, today is uh, November 28th, 2022, and I got this message on uh, November 26, 2022 at 7.27 p.m. And... Um, I started to hear God speaking a voice, uh, speaking a message, sorry. So a lot of times I'll, if I have my laptop nearby, I'll type it out. If not, I just kind of record it into my cell phone and then type it out after. So I'm going to get right to it. This is what I heard God saying. He said, crystal clear is the water that I drink. I parted the Red Sea. If we look at Exodus chapter 14, uh, sorry, Exodus, yeah, chapter 14, sorry, um, 1 to 31, it's going to explain. It's pretty long, so I'm going to leave you to read that. Um, but it, it's talking all about God parting the Red Sea. And God says, nothing is too impossible for me. Looking back on all the miracles, the greatest miracle that I have given you is my son, Jesus Christ. The greatest miracle that this planet has ever seen and will ever see Um will ever experience, sorry, is my son Jesus Christ. And he said, although many don't recognize it as a miracle, they don't see the miracle in it or even believe it is true or even uh, realize that my son existed, God says. Um, so, sorry, I, I got to find my place here. Um, so God says, that this is what he wants from us. He needs us to do this. He says, I need you to teach them all about my son, Jesus, and the greatness he did for this world and the greatness that is still to come. Pour out your love to the people. Show my son, Jesus, through you. Let yourself be a great example when you teach them about my son, Jesus. And he says, there is a great need to teach the people, to bring them to know my son. He says, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. If we go to Matthew chapter 9, verse 37, it says, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Meaning, there are so many more people that need to know Jesus, but the people that are out there, us workers, there isn't many of us. And God needs more workers. We need to all be out there. All you Christians, we need to all be out there. Bringing in more people, telling everybody about Jesus. Um, and God says, keep the trickle going. People are trickling in. This is good progress. It and it may not look, it may not seem like a lot of progress is happening, but it is, God says. The trickle effect turns into the ripple effect, and more and more people will come to know my son Jesus Christ. Um he says, so go and take the greatest miracle and spread it to others. The greatest miracle that so, so that um, many, oh, the greatest miracle that so many have overlooked. Don't let it be wasted, God says. Um, and then he, he says, love is in the air. Now go and spread it as it was freely given to you. Go and freely give to others the love of Jesus Christ, my son. And I went to Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. It says, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. 
We need to tell people about Jesus and salvation and, the, and, the, and heaven and everything that's waiting for them. And Jesus gave us this, you know, through his authority, through the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, he gave us supernatural powers to cast out, um, you know, the wicked spirits and to um, raise the dead and to lay hands on the sick and to heal them. And we need to be giving, that was freely given to us at salvation. And we need to freely um, give to others and the love of Jesus working through us. So many things we can freely give to others. God wants us to be doing that. Um, um, and God, God also said that mass change is coming soon. Um, and um, I just want to find my place here. Sorry, we're looking away. Um, and, and, and God, God says, sorry, I'm going to go back one second. He says, heaven and earth are mine and so are you. I hold you in the palm of my hand um, as I do with so many others. Bring the masses to me. I will equip you. And, um, and God says, we have what it takes. We have Jesus living in us, Holy Spirit living in us. We have what it takes to go out there and teach people about Jesus and talk to them about the gospel and bring them to know our Lord and Savior Jesus and Father God. God says we have what it takes. And he says, we already have the tools. We have Jesus living in us, Holy Spirit living in us. Just know that I trust in you, he says. All is about to change rapidly. There will be no stone left unturned. I will protect my people. Heaven is waiting for the righteous ones. And God says, it is all about to change. Mass change is coming. And, um, and God says, freely give what ha has freely been given to you, the gift of salvation. You need to go and tell others. He says, don't stop till you drop. Whistle while you can. Sing a song or two. And I have heard him say that in another message. While we freely can be joyful and be giving, you know, whistling and singing a song. He's saying, you know, be joyful, but also mass change is coming that may inhibit us or, you know, we may not feel like whistling uh, a little bit there, but um, he is going to protect us through anything. Um, so, you know, in other messages, he has said that time is short. Um, you know, because a mass change is coming. And if people aren't, um, you know, if they haven't given their life to Jesus, they may be easily sucked into what the enemy is going to be putting in our faces. So God says, I'm not saying, we know end times is coming, but I'm not saying that it's end times. But God's saying when, when this mass change comes, we may be um, you know, fooled and people may be really fooled by what the enemy is going to put in our face. And um, it is very important for us to help people to accept Jesus Christ so that we can start living a righteous life and we know the right path to take and we will have discernment and we will know when the enemy is trying to put something false in front of our face. So I pray right now that you will, you will, um, you know, be one of the laborers and to help bring in the harvest as God is requesting in this, in this um, message. He says the harvest is great, but the, the laborers are few. He needs all of us. He's calling on us. He's calling on all of his children. He's calling on each and every one of us. And he needs us as existing Christians to wake up the masses, to wake up your family, friends, neighbors, just a stranger on the street. Whoever you can just open your mouth, let the words come out, let Jesus flow off your tongue and help save another human being. Okay, that is what God wants from us. And we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful message. And I thank you that you will give each and every one of us the boldness, Holy Spirit, and that you will help those words to come off of our tongue and to know when you set the divine appointments up for us to go speak to another person, to help those words just roll off our tongue, Lord. We know not a tongue twister, but to just flow off our tongue so easily. And we know what to talk about. And we just pray this in Jesus' mighty, precious name. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God, for this great message. So God really needs us. He needs us to get out there and to do the work. 
um, to bring people to salvation, to bring people to know Jesus, wake the people up. We are the laborers and we got to start doing our, our work. We got to, we got to pull our end of the bargain. Okay. God needs us to do the work. So that's, um, the message I have for you today. And I pray that, um, you were able to receive it and that you understood it and, um, um, that you are able to pass it on. God doesn't want us to hold these messages to ourselves. He, 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 he wants us to receive it and to freely give it. He wants us to go out there and do the work. So please don't hold on to these messages all to yourself. It doesn't do a whole lot of good. I mean, it helps one person, you, when you have that message in you, but we need to be spreading the word of God. We all need to be doing our part. And, and these are what these messages are about. A lot of them, God is saying we need to be doing the work. So I just thank you for um, listening to this message and, uh, and I pray that you received it and I hope that you enjoyed the word today. And um, I also pray that you will be able to watch a lot of the other videos that I've made with God's word, God's visions and um, God's messages um, so that you can, uh, we can all be learning together and be hearing God's uh, messages. Very, very important. And um, I, I will... Um, on that note, as I say, I will let you go and get um, get back to what you were doing. And um, I pray that you will have a great day and to keep on fighting the good fight and um, being uh, a warrior for God and getting out there and helping our fellow man. Take care, my friends, and I will see you soon on another video. <laughs> Bye for now.